Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Yasa Logbook. In part 1, we discuss all the detail about UK CA Logbook. If you have not seen the video, then check out the link in description. In this part, we will discuss about Yasa Logbook of Netherlands Kiva Authority. We will see how to fill it correctly and how it is different from CAA UK Logbook. Do subscribe the channel and press bell icon for notification. Let's get our video started. First page of Kiva Logbook, it shows all the content. We will see each page in detail. Here you will take category for which this logbook is used and please note that one category per logbook. Here you will write all your personal details. Here you will write your company name, company address and part 145 approval reference if your company is approved under 145 YASA. Then whichever AME or supervisor is signing your entries, you have to make an index like this and write all the detail of the AME, name, approval number, company authorization number and take their signature or stamp. As per Kiva requirement during application, you have to submit the scan copy of all the AML license whoever AME is signing your logbook. Also note, in case of supervisor or engineer is not in possession of Dutch registered part 66 AML, a copy of foreign AML is needed to be attached. There is another option. If you are not submitting AME license copy, then you have to take signature from quality manager and you have to provide relevant MOE, maintenance organization exposition page which states her or his that means quality manager position. On this page, you will write the duration of experience in particular company. Here you will write your recent experience that is current experience just prior to your application. This page mentions experience needed as per regulation in different categories. This page has to be signed by quality control manager. Here is the instruction for writing this logbook. Let's see each incoming pages. Here you will check the each boxes of concerned ATA chapter for which you have made a maintenance entry. We should try to cover maximum ATA chapter for getting our application accepted. This is the tabular form of your duration of experience. Each box in the table represent one week. A minimum of two entries are counted as one week. Let's take example of January 2021. Now not all the months will be having four exact weeks because they have given us four boxes. So what we will do is we can just combine the half box with one week. So first two week of this January 2021 will make a first week. Then second week, third week and fourth week. Now first 9 days if we are getting 2 entries, we will check the box of our first box. Then second week we are getting 2 entries, we will mark the X on our second box. Now if suppose you don't get any entries on the third week of this month, so you will leave that box blank. Then if you are getting 2 entries on the fourth week, you will mark the X on the fourth box. Let's see another example of February 2021. So this week you will count as first, then second, then third. Now the last fourth and fifth you can combine and make it fourth week. Now if you are going on annual leave, suppose you are taking leave for two or three weeks. So the first three boxes you have to leave it blank. You cannot make entry in that week because YASA authority may ask your quality control to cross check your entries. So you cannot make any false entry on the day you were not present in the company. Try to make two entries per week because if you make three or four entries it will be counted as one week only. Now after completing one whole year you have to count the number of X's, the number of week you have made an entry and then you have to write the total weeks over year. The minimum of 48 weeks is counted as one year. So if you are submitting for one year, you need to have 48 total weeks. If you are submitting for two years, you need to have 96 weeks. Three years, 144 weeks. Four years, 192 weeks. And if you are submitting for five years, you need to have more than 240 weeks of entry. 
As you can see, duration of experience is not based on the date. It is based on the number of weeks with task performed. After filling all this detail, you need to sign on this page. This page is for aircraft construction experience. This is the main experience writing page where you will be recording each and every detail of the task performed. As said in previous video, Yasa logbook is maintained as per ATA chapter wise and not date wise. In this logbook, ATA chapter is already mentioned over here, starting from 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on. We should file it in same sequence. This page is for ATA Chapter 24 and all the maintenance entry should be of same ATA Chapter 24 electrical system. In this column you will write date. In this column you will write aircraft or engine type. In this column you will write aircraft registration. In this column you will write job or work order number. In previous video we already saw what is job or work order number and what is its importance. In this column you will write all the details of the task performed with reference to the approved data. We will discuss this in next part of our video on how to write logbook entries. In this column you will write category. In this column you will take signature, stamp and license number from the engineer or supervisor. Here you will write your name, signature and date. These are some pages without any ATA chapter. It can be printed and added to the chapter where you need more than one pages. That's all from Kiva logbook. In next video we will discuss how to write logbook entries. We will talk about what is the format of entries, what are the details needed to be added, how to manage your entries how to avoid repetition of same task and how to make multiple entries from single task card. Do support us by subscribing the channel. Thank you for watching.